Well, you know, WCW had tried everything that they possibly could, and it just nothing ever really clicked. So, you know, to be able to bring in a guy like Hulk Hogan, even though maybe it was a little bit late in his, or you thought it was at least in his in his career to give him the monster push that he got, but you know, when nothing else works, you you go to the the big the big guy, so to speak, and Hulk Hogan was the big guy in this business, and so you know. If you get a chance to bring a Hulk Hogan from WWF, you know, you got to take that chance and take the risks. And, you know, not everybody in WCW, the old style fans who, who you know, were raised on a different style down south, not everybody liked Hulk and, and what he brought with the Say Your Prayers, Eat Your Vitamins kind of stuff. But, you know, you got to appeal to the masses because the people that didn't like Hulk Hogan, they weren't exactly making WCW uh you know, a, a, a money-winning organization at the time. So I think Eric did a brilliant thing by bringing Hulk in, and I think that Hulk, by turning heel at the Bash at the Beach, uh, I think that set WCW on fire. We were already getting there with Randy. We had a Randy Savage versus Ric Flair feud, uh, and that sort of moved the the attendance and started getting a buzz. But you know, when Nash and Hall came in, and then Hulk made that heel turn and said, you know, the fans could go to hell. That was, uh, that was what got us going. And, um, it wouldn't have happened without Hulk agreeing to come Moreover, Hulk agreeing to turn heel, which I can imagine at the time, looking back, he was really questioning and I don't blame him. And, um, and then Bischoff, uh, you know, doing what he did and bringing the talent in and, uh, you know, the halls and the Nash and the Lugers and the, all the people that he brought in and, and really put together an amazing uh, roster of talent and then bringing in the, the Luchadors and the, the De Malenkos, Eddie Guerrero's, Chris Jericho's, Benoit's, et cetera. Uh, what, a, what a bunch of undercard talent to, to, to highlight, you know, to, to highlight underneath the, the legends and the halls and Nashes of the world. So I give both guys a lot of credit and, uh, you know, uh, just a shame it all fell apart.